Welcome to Chewing the Cod. We haven't just survived the past week, we've got through it together. We are here with a roundup of showbiz news, fun things from the internet, and not forgetting a life lesson. But before we dive headlong into all the things we have to share, we say hello and hi to the man who has to be told more than once that just because it fits doesn't mean it should go there. It's Mike. You've been looking at my kitchen cupboards again, haven't you? Rancid. Yeah, I don't mind having beans with the pans. No problem with that. I know mm. where they are. Yeah. But I've been warming my hands and clasping the lovelies of the internet just to find you some bits you may have missed, including stories about a new beverage. Oh. And I have some hot showbiz news, including a story about a celebrity who is fuming. <coughs> and you can always see what we have been sharing just by heading over to our social media. Just search for at the Cud TV, our website is thecud.tv, and if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast or on YouTube, have a search for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. That way you won't miss a single minute. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name going along the bottom of the screen right now. Building on last week's themes of anthropomorphic mammalian existence in an entropic universe, and the fundamental principles of quantum string theory, in light of recent developments in the notion of cosmic inflation, when set against Copernican theory, I have to proffer a question, which remains tantalising and elusive, and that is, who the hell actually let the dogs out? Hmm. I don't really know. Never mind. Let's play. Game of the Week. The producer has had to leave early today, as he's off to help his bookseller friend put up a new bookshelf for his first edition novels. One half of the shelf will hold his Shakespearean collection, but the producer says, on the whole, he prefers his friend's Dickens side. So, while his great expectations are dashed, when he realises he only has a little Dorrit, let's play a game of straight acting. This one is for Mike to play, so off you toddle, Mike, to our state-of-the-art, soundproofed broom cupboard while I explain the rules. All Mike has to do is act the scene that our random topic generator spits out, and I have to try to guess what the Jolly Rogers he's trying to convey. Are you ready, Mike? I am warmed and lubed and ready to go. Great. First one. Okay, the first one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I surrender. Oh, oh, oh. Napoleon. No. I spit on you, you English pig. Puh. A stereotypical French person. I am French, yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Next one, please, Mike. Okay. Um, the so I can't quite think who they're called. They sound like I think Waterloo, and they had films about them. Uh, musical thing, musical films. Can't quite remember the musical films though. What were the they called? Mix? No, they, they wore flares and they did a lot of the, the whole da 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 thing. The monkeys? No, they did like songs and, you know, like the 80s and 70s and did Eurovision. Oh, I can't remember Brotherhood what they're called. Brotherhood of Man. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, it was two boys and two girls. Oh, that would be ABBA. But, um, I can't remember, is it ABBA? I'm telling you it's ABBA. Right, okay, is that, it's, I think, oh, oh no, you think it says, I think I am a member of ABBA, rather oh, okay. than you think you remember ABBA, which is what I read. <laughs> so I think you get a point as default there. Doctor, Doctor, I have to pull myself together. Are you a pair of sliding doors? Not quite. Are you a, are you a lift? No. Are you something out of that stupid Star Trek thing? No. Like? No. I like doors, but not made of metal or glass. Beaded curtains. Well, a pair of curtains. I'll oh, take a pair that of curtains. Pair oh. Of curtains. That works. Okay. Um, I'm not doing it. I refuse to do this one. 
You can't make me. Oh, I love him so much with his blonde shaggy hair and his grasp on power and reality being so good. I think he's the best prime minister ever. Oh, I was going to say Justin Bieber for a moment, but I'm going to go with Boris Johnson. I'm not Boris Johnson. What am I? You're his toy. <laughs> it's actually I was in love with Boris Johnson. Oh, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Are you an old Nokia phone? I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to wear capes in public anymore. I keep falling downstairs. I'm very, very old. Very old. I'm so old. I have boobs made of ice cream cones. This, I'm this, very old. This, this is a read. You no, trying to do an impression of me. <laughs> um, I'm not wearing capes in public anymore. Oh, I'm wearing an eye patch. I'm wearing an eye oh, patch. Why I don't it's, know. It's Dame Madonna. I am Madonna. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah very good. I'm very old. Keep your mind out the gutter. So I live with seven other little men, and they all go off to to work, and I stay here, and an old woman gives me things to try and kill me. Is it one of your fantasies? No. No? No. That would be eight young men. Oh. Um, I'm going to go with Snow White. I'm Snow White, yes. Wow. Well, ah, we're doing well this week. We are, well, I'm ah. doing well. I'm guessing the blurb that's happening over there. <laughs> the blurb that's happening over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> okay. I'd be dead, but... Ah, hot, 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 hot. I need to get off this. Ah, ah, hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot. You'd be dead, but you've got to get off the hot ground. Yeah. Are you walking on the uh, coals? Not quite. Hotter. Hotter oh, than coals. Oh, 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 lava, bubbling yes. lava. Yes, the floor is lava. Oh, okay. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, I've never. I feel. I feel filthy. That's disgusting. Are you? Are you farting and smelling your own farts and getting a little bit of a semi on the smell? I'm ah, just farting when I like it. Ah, filth. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you want me to do another thing on the card? Yeah. Hello, it's me. Oh, this is brilliant. I just want to go to, for a coffee for no apparent reason. I'm going to sit in a coffee shop and drink coffee out of a giant mug. Me again. Yeah. I'm feeling very attacked today. Yeah, you do. Um, um, I'm going to say things that are really inappropriate, but say it's in the past, so it's okay. Is it Joey from Friends? So what is Friends? A sitcom. Yeah, I'm a sitcom. You think that one's... Just brace yourself for this one. You right. Yeah, are you doing it? Okay. You're right. Don't, I feel sick, don't. My bowels have turned to liquid. Mm, really? Are, are, is, is this your pickup? You're are looking you, good today. Are you are you flirting? Oh, it's more than flirting, Lee. I do. I just can't can't cope without you. Are you infatuated by me? That's close enough. I'm in love with you, apparently. Oh. Yeah. And now do the one that's on the frame. Yeah, just no, no, now do the one that's on the card. Yeah. <laughs> no, just talk about your feelings. Yeah. Like. Right, so you today, yeah, mm -hmm. jippy tummy, yeah, and you're not sure whether it's going to be solid or, or not solid. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, not so, it, it's not solid, so it's okay. It's just gas, so what have you got? Flatulence. Yeah, you've got wind. Okay. It said he's got the wind, so... He's got the wind. The wind beneath my wings. Oh, <laughs> beneath, be, yeah. beneath your tenor, man. I, th I think... I think... I think we've got time for one more. Oh, have we? Always time for one more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I just... I, I love it every Saturday. I hear that theme tune. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-
<laughs> and I get very excited. I just can't cope without it. You're a, you're a big fan of Strictly Come Dancing? Yeah. Okay. Well, that, I think that, that's that, it. Yeah, well, that happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah. Should we, should we see what you've got, if you've got a score? Do we care? Oh, okay. It's nice. That's... Um, well, don't go anywhere because soon we have another one of our fantastic life lessons. But before we endure that, we have Lee and the Showbiz News. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we speak to the man who can do more with a cream egg than was ever intended, wanted, or even thought about. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. I can fit four cream eggs inside me. Mm hmm And how many can you fit in your mouth? One there, one there. Uh-huh. And then two down there. Two down on your feet? No. Oh, be <laughs> don't think he can say that. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> <laughs> because I've tried, I've thought about singing many times, but I've said to myself. To <laughs> before, I had to say it. Before I did. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Let's do some showbiz news. Ooh, let's. Drag race. Is there never any end to the to what happens in Drag Race? What to RuPaul wanting more money? No, the, the, so they have just announced that they're going to launch mm -hmm. a world singing contest spin-off of Drag Race. Oh. Look at the shock on RuPaul! No, no, we, we don't do any more. That's not RuPaul's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's RuPaul going. I'm getting paid how much money for this? More. Yeah, so it, it's going to be called Queen of the Universe. Uh -huh. It's going to be produced by World of Wonder, and it will see drag queens from around the world mm -hmm. use their singing talents to be crowned Queen of the Universe. Okay. So, so it's not going to have any extraterrestrials in it? I don't think so. How do we know it's going to be Queen of the Universe? I just think you're just going to take the word for it that mm. they are. Yeah. That's one branch of another offshoot of things. Okay. There is going to be a, a new season of All Stars that's happening. Of All Stars. All Stars. Yeah. And then there is rumours, because we've, well, we've, got, we've already got Drag Race Down Under happening. Have we? Yeah, it's starting, well, not now, not oh, beneath me. As, as in but it, Australia. In Australia, that's being Down Under. currently filmed. Uh, we've had Thailand Drag Race. Mm -hmm. We've had Holland Drag Race. We've had the UK Drag Race. So... There are rumours that we're going to have um, an all-stars version of Drag Race, like a, like a like an international an international version of, of so it's so all stars is twelve queens. Uh -huh. This international version will have eight queens. Okay. Okay. So they haven't announced who they're going to have in, but the internet's going sort of crazy with rumours. Mm -hmm. So from America, they're saying that Heidi and Closet. I've got a mm -hmm. picture of Heidi and Closet here. Um, from season 12. She was top six in season 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, also from America, Widow Von Du um, from season 12, who was top seven. So, from the UK, mm -hmm. they're saying possibly Bag of Chips, possibly Cheryl Hole, possibly Davina DeCampo. Mm -hmm. Okay. That would be, that'll be interesting because Davina's just started starting a role in Chicago. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've not said when they're going to start filming this, but who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Um, from um, Canada, Canada's Drag Race, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they are saying possibly Lemon. Uh -huh. Got a picture there of Lemon. And possibly Jimbo. Mm -hmm. We've got a picture of Jimbo there. Um, I didn't watch um, the Holland version. Did you not? No, I don't, oh. couldn't see it. I couldn't, couldn't find it. Oh. Um, but they're saying that possibly Janie. All right, okay. From, yeah. from the Holland version. We've got a picture of, of Janie there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do, do you think we can be bothered with another drag race? It depends when it's on. Mm. If, if, if I get a bit of a rest, maybe. Mm. But it's been, I've been, it's been a little bit relentless, hasn't it? I think we're still on the same season of drag race that we started the pandemic on. That's yes. how back-to-back -back it's been. And then all the kind of little ones in between where they did drag queens lockdown yeah. and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, right. Sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. Yeah, like mm. the bus suction. It's rude. 
Anyway, um, so... You can't have too much liposuction. I thought you I thought you were directing at me. No. So, return of a much-loved... Mm, I don't know if it's much-loved, but a, one of those shows everybody watched. Rainbow. No. Um, you Are What You Eat. Do you remember You Are What You Eat? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Well, it's longer than you think. So it was 14 years ago it was last on television. 14 years ago! <laughs> it was originally presented by Gillian McKeith. Oh, she's not going to be doing it again. No, she? she's oh. not. So originally she called herself Dr Gillian McKeith well, until people to. looked into it and she just kind of bought that on the internet. Yeah. Um, so what, they, what, they, what the, the sort of premise of the original programme was, was that people that had really bad sort of like diets, mm -hmm. that Gillian McKeith would go in and say, right, this is what, you've eat, this is what you eat. Mm -hmm. This is what you eat. Yeah, and they used to have to, have to, have to crap in a pot. Um, and she would like go, ooh. <laughs> she didn't eat it. <laughs> on camera. She didn't eat it. Not that we never saw that. Mm. Sometimes. We never saw what happened. At, when they cut it. back, she had a little bit of brown around there. We assumed it was chocolate. <laughs> we did. But, you know. Um, so, um... <laughs> So yeah, people would poop in a Tupperware tub, and then she would like say, "Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not getting enough roughage there." Um, well, it's coming back, mm -hmm. but it's going to be aired on Channel Four instead of Channel. No, it's going to be aired on Channel Five okay. instead of Channel Four. Right. And the people that are going to front it are Trisha Goddard. Okay. So we've got a picture of Trisha here, mm -hmm. and Dr. Amir Khan, oh. who is kind of like a bit of a one of those celeb you doctors. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so it's it's following the same format. So it's looking at people's diets and how they can. Do it. I don't know if they're going to be crapping in tubs again. I don't. I think that was kind of like the unique selling point of that program, wasn't it? <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> well, times have moved on. Maybe they've got a clear toilet. Perhaps. I mean, you know, I'm not that interested if they're not crapping in a tub, to be honest with you. That was kind of, it was kind of, it's kind of like the voice. I've got, it's I've like got, the spinny chairs. I've got what, <laughs> what worse down. My head's just gone for a, a clear toilet and I'm looking up, watching. <laughs> now, I mean, sure nowadays, they'd, they'd, they'd have to be biodegradable tubs, like wouldn't they? Yeah. Not just ordinary plastic tubs. Just, I've seen chairs where you can just poop on someone's face. Maybe they're just going to use one of them. Hand and hold it out. Yeah, like that. We, should, we, should be, we should be hosting this. We should, yeah. Yeah. We don't care what they're eating. <laughs> yeah, actually, we do. He's like, oh, what are you eating? Oh, that looks good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a year's worth of, ch of chocolate ice cream in a week. Oh, come on, bring <laughs> exactly. it on. It's like, um, I eat nothing but kebabs. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 sounds nice. Um, so, yeah, that is coming <laughs> Coming out at some point um, this year or early next year. Okay. Okay. Um, last bit of show, right. So we all know that, that celebrities, they like to post pictures on Instagrams of them doing Instagrams. Pictures yeah, of Instagrams. Instagrams. Uh, yes. They like to post I, pictures I quite, of Instagram. I quite looking at Instagram. Mm, mm. Instagram. I've, I've like them doing like regular, normal, everyday stuff. You know, oh, I'm just having a... Felching the cat. <laughs> <laughs> you said you'd never mentioned that again. <laughs> no, I said I'd never film it again. <laughs> well, things like, you know, oh, I'm having a mocha chococino at, you know, at the drive-thru or... <laughs> I'm pulling into a tub I'm for someone to look at. Sitting in a, cr <laughs> a plastic tub. What do I eat? That kind of stuff. Okay. okay. Now, Kim Kardashian, she's not stranger to a... To a I'm going to say um, a staged selfie. She likes to... She, she's kind of Are like... Are you oh, implying yeah. that Kim Kardashian stages what she's doing? Mm, yeah... So, um, this one is quite funny. Okay. So, she was having her hair done. Which one? <laughs> her upstairs hair. Okay. The curtains. And she fell asleep because she lived such a busy, busy life. Busy, busy, busy life. life sure, busy that, you know, she has to catch a, she has to catch a nap yeah. when she can. So, her hairdresser, so we've got some... Just ignore Kim Kardashian. Let's okay. just talk about her hairdresser first. This is a, this, her hairdresser is called Chris. Okay. Quite appreciative of Chris. He, I think I think we've got a picture of him with his top off on a beach somewhere. We, we might just flash that up in a bit. Um, but she she was having her hair did. Mm -hmm. um, oh look, there he is on the beach. Ooh. So he's a well toned gentleman, yeah, isn't he? I, I, I could quite happily grate some cheese on them abs. Oh, and he's, he's, a, no, some cheese, he's, I mean, a, he's a he's a homosexualist uh, as well. Yeah. Is he single? I don't know. You keep coming up with these handsome men and not telling me whether they're single. 
I don't know if he is or not. Uh, look, there he is with Kim. There Bez is. I don't care about Blah, 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 blah. Um, so she fell, she fell asleep uh -huh. having her hair did. Mm -hmm. So he took a picture of her with, this is the picture that, that he took and posted on the internet. And she was like, oh, I absolutely hate you. Uh, I'm so exhausted. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of thought, do you know what? If I'd taken that picture, I would have had to kind of like, just add a few things. Okay. So this is the picture that I, I would have posted. Yeah. I, I can't see the difference. Can you not? No. No, it is very, very similar. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so she, she wasn't, ha I think she was faux angry. Not angry. Not really angry. Um, one... Well, how would you know? She's had that much work done. Will she be able to do anger? I'm, I'm very, so angry at you. I'm very unhappy right now. Oh. Um, apparently a fan, a fan posted underneath the picture, legend says that Chris mysteriously went missing from his home since posting this picture. Only a single hair extension was left at the scene of the crime. Well. It's like Diana all over again, isn't it? Yeah. I think, I think with that, I'll just end the showbiz news right here, right now. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Really, thank you. Um, but coming up soon, we have our life lesson. But before that, we have Mike in the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man whose primary school teacher said to him, you're fat, you're round, you bounce on the ground. It's Mike Benny and Roe with the buzz. Actually, my high school teacher. Well, was it? Yeah, yeah. I was a fat goth when I was a teenager. Ginger, fat and goth. Did you bounce on the ground? I didn't really move anywhere. I just said, I oh, can't be bothered. Did you crap in a box? Yeah, in the woodland, but that's a different story. I've been having a search around the internet for the fun and lighter hearted things. Um, and I, I've been having a bit of a think, inspired by a post that I saw. Oh, ooh. About, you know, the end credits of the show. Yeah. How it shows our names and all the wonderful things that we do and yeah. the gallery do and, yeah. and why we're responsible for mm -hmm. all of this. Um, what do you think some of the, the best options could be for what we do? What do you think we could call you, for instance? Ooh, erotic, um, erotic sexual liaison officer. Mm. I don't know where that came from, but I'm liking it. Um, anyway, uh, we've had a, a, a post shared of possibly the worst description of someone, right? Okay. Um, so this woman's acting credit has never been bettered on film or TV. Okay. Looking at that lovely little picture, what do you think she's accredited as? Is she um, sort of like scrotum stretcher? Scrotum One. Stretcher. One. <laughs> yeah. Because you need several. Because there would be a number of them. <laughs> <laughs> number of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they all pulling at the same time or yeah. taking it turns? Yeah. Stretching them as far as they could possibly go so the, so the umplumpers <laughs> could <laughs> Which version of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory did you watch? I don't want to know, actually. <laughs> Do not answer that question. Um, well, no. Surprisingly, it wasn't. It wasn't that, was it? It wasn't that. Surprisingly, her, her credit is um, the woman who urinates on herself. Oh. Uncredited. Uncredited. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, an, it's a job. It's a job. It pays the bills. It pays the bills. It pays your face on TV. Well, not face. <laughs> Depends it's, how they filmed it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a whole range of skills. Yeah. Some people have horse riding on their, their CV. She pees on herself. Mm. Um, but there, some other people shared some of their credits that they may not be proud of. Okay. Um, so David shared, Look, Ma, I finally made it on American television. Never mind. Can you see what he's credited as there? No, it's too far away. It's too small. Yeah. Okay. Um, vigorous hand job guy. Oh! See, from where I say it looks like vegan hand something or other. Oh, well, vegan can, hand job can, guy. It could be. Yeah, it vegan, could be vegan. Vegans can have hand jobs. But can, if you are giving a hand job, are yeah. you vegan yourself? Because you've got like a meat product in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it. I'm a vegan. <laughs> So Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, 
Yeah, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Lisa Park Camel. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck is... Do you know when you're like, sometimes you're like sat and you're in a place, but then you can see yourself from a distance. You're like looking at yourself and going, what are you doing? Are you high? What are you going on? What's going on with your life, Lee? <laughs> That's what's happening now. I'm having an out-of-body experience. Right, okay. Mark Hamill. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker tweeted, in the UK, movie TV background extras are called ba background artists. Uh -huh. Yes, um, which is far more respectful considering their vital contributions. But I wonder how they feel when they are billed in the end credits as fat slob at bar or ugly woman with poodle. Oh, you, yeah, you get the right hump. <laughs> 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 oh, Hamble. Yes. Yes. Not Park Hamble. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Hamble. <laughs> oh dear. Um, moving on. Um, I, I, I like a bit of a mashup. Do you? Yeah. Um, and you like cream eggs? I do like cream eggs. How much do you like cream eggs, Lee? So much. I don't actually love them a lot. Uh -huh. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just the tip. Just the tip of them, yeah. Just the tip. That, that satisfies me. Okay. Um, well, the, apparently it has come out that it's a cream egg flavoured beer. Oh. Yeah. So um, Goose Island Brewery says that their beer contains flavoured that resemble the humble Easter treat. Is it the chocolate? The chocolate. Or is it the fondant the filling? Thing. The whole of it. Whole thing. All of it. Because, so, you know, you eat a cream egg by shoving the whole thing in your mouth and chewing. I put it in an egg cup and then eat it like a boiled oh, egg. I don't. I do. I've seen you stick lady. three in your mouth at the same time without taking the wrapper off. <laughs> I'm saying, oh. I'll make a giant nest and sit on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder where they've disappeared to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a dozen there this morning. Mm. Oh. And then it waddles. Now, <laughs> well, I thought, how um, a chocolate flavoured beer sounds lovely. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Sounds rank. It sounds amazing. Does it? Yeah. So I thought we should try a, a chocolate flavoured beer. Oh, is it another one of your weird mashup recipes? Yes, yes, it is. So you've not even managed to get hold of the actual genuine chocolate no. egg flavoured no. beer? No. But what I do have is I have some beer. And I have some Angel Delight, which is chocolatey. Yeah, but it, that goes thick. That's okay, beer's quite thin. I think two teaspoons <laughs> would be the best. Maybe three, just pop it all in, see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Botulism. Botulism. <laughs> I don't think you can mix botulism up. <laughs> Internal hemorrhaging. <laughs> That's possible, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just make a little bit. Just there we go. Ooh. There you go. This looks delicious. Mmm. Looks tasty. You know that kind of weird scum that you get on top of like water in the yeah, sea? Algae. That weird froth. Oh, sea foam. Yeah, it looks yeah. like that. It does. Industrial waste. Should we, should we try it? No. Rephrase it. Have a try. <laughs> Ooh, it tells chocolatey and foamy. Yeah, chocolatey and foamy, come on. Yeah. Ooh, it's not nice. I didn't taste anything. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I, <just> Try again. <laughs> I can tell that you, you lied to me. <sighs> You've got to get it in your mouth. No. It, it is really is not pleasant. <laughs> it's not pleasant. Okay. It's like bum juice. Let me have a go then. You like bum juice, so he'll be gargling that down. Mm. Oh, there we go. It's tasty. Finally satisfied. Mm. Oh, are you drinking it all? <laughs> oh. That's good. That give me yours or not? You're not allowed to have it because of oh, because of the fair. corona. Oh, I feel a bit let down now. <sighs> all right, so so that's a no for you then. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop the, the little bits away. Pardon me, Windy Pops. Oh, classy. <laughs> Did it taste again? Yeah. So I've got some news about a politician, an MP. Mm, how thrilling. Yeah, because um, we like a bit of politicals. We do. Yeah. It's a lovely young man. Um, isn't really. Um, he's known for his virulent and anti-LGBTQI plus rhetoric um, oh. in Lithuania. And he was basically 
having some IT issues, and then as the camera came back on, they saw a pic another picture with a naked man in it, as a, a friend was helping him, shall we say. In the same room? In the same room. Oh! So he was having IT problems, next thing they see on camera, naked man helping him out. Did, did they have to take their clothes off because it, there was a danger of fire from the, from the, from the electrical computer? Eh? I'm just kind of thinking of why he would possibly be naked with another man in the same room. In case of a fire? Yeah, they might have said, oh, there's danger of fire, and he goes, well, we must take a lot of clothes off then. Or he's a raging homosexual, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was getting the arm. Uh, possibly. Um, he did say it was his son. Which, ooh, <laughs> that, that has opened another window, and you've gone through a door and gone, ooh. <laughs> you see, that's not right. If you're gonna, if you're gonna come up with an excuse as to why, I mean, you shouldn't have to come up with an excuse. You wanna be naked with another person, in front of your camera, that's fine. But don't go weird. <laughs> yeah. Don't make it weird and say it's your, your son. Oh. Well, maybe he calls him daddy, we don't know. Um, and if you have something to share, and Darren from Dibblethwaite, if I could do that to myself, I wouldn't leave the house, just look for The Could TV on all of your usual social media services slash platforms. And that brings us headfirst into the story of the week. What do you think is worse than being Matt Hancock? I don't think there is anything worse than being Matt, perhaps being married to Matt Hancock. Because that's then a choice. You're right, nothing is worse, right? Says Mr Warburton from Crow, who said, yes, I suck off stray dogs, but I'm not Matt Hancock. Just gonna, I'm just gonna process that for a moment. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, okay. So he, he kind of looks a little bit like Matt Hancock. A little Hancock. bit, yeah. Okay. A little bit. So I'm going to put that aside. Mm -hmm. And let's focus on the suck, sucking of stray dogs. Uh-huh. What's all that about? <laughs> well, well, what he does, he gets a stray dog. Um, so he was arrested um, and sentenced to 16 months after, so we say, performing an act of oral pleasure on four dogs while playing with himself quite vigorously. Wow. Yes, in the middle of crew. In the middle of crew? Crew. Were they, was it all at the same time? Mm, was it like a pack? It was like a pack. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Um, Do we know breeds of dogs? Because it makes the difference. <laughs> what, whether it was a Shih Tzu or an Alsatian? <laughs> well, to be fair, you know, if you've got two Chihuahua, one in each hand, I don't know, like that. Right. Um, and then perhaps a Great Dane between, yeah, I'm overthinking this. <laughs> and that's the end of the buzz for this week. Well, thanks, Mike. As usual, informative and slightly disgusting. Anyway, coming up, we have our life lesson. Arf. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we hope and pray that he hasn't got more food for us to try, as it's time for this week's... Life lessons. So, have you been watching the Great British Pottery Throwdown? I have. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I've loved it. Who's your favourite? Um, all of them. All of them. Oh, that's good. My, all my, of them. Mine's handsome gay guy. Oh, yeah. I did like. I I, I admired his pedestal mm -hmm. that he made in the semi-finals. Yeah, I enjoyed his semi. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, although I liked the earlier ones where they had to like make a number of different things and then the judge would go along and go, <laughs> if they were wrong, just yeah. splatted them. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, um, this week's life lesson, we are going to be making pots. Ooh. How exciting. So what we've done is we've actually got ourselves our own special Chewing the Cud Pottery Studio. Oh, that is maze balls. Yeah. So what I'm going to get, ask you to do, Lee, is to go away and make a pot. Oh! Yeah. Now? Now. <laughs> I hope you're ready to make me a pot. I am indeed. I am... Ooh. Moist. Hmm. Well, that's better. Um, so you get three minutes. Okay. To throw me your best pot. Okay. Go. Okay, okay, right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a bit of uh, I'm gonna cut a lump of clay. Cut a lump of clay. Cut a lump of clay. And um pop it on, pop it on the thing. Oh. Now 
I presume I just switch it on just and it's... Switch it on and it'll start spinning. Oh! Oh, that's very fast! Um, I'm going to dip my... Cause I, because I've watched it... Oh! <laughs> this isn't work. This isn't... Ooh! What about if I do it that way? <laughs> oh! 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 Um, put a bit of water. Oh! Very fast. Ooh, look at that! Yeah. So it's a pop system. In a time. It's strangely erotic. I put, ooh, I'm gonna put my finger in it. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think it's not doing anything. So you might want to give it a little bit of slam onto the wheel. What if I speed it up? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it fell off! Oh, it's going... I can't keep... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful! <laughs> Bill of water. Ooh! Um... What if? Oh, look at that. What if I put my finger in it? So I'm gonna, uh, from what I gather, you dip your fingers and you um, create it like that. Ooh. I'm actually ooh, quite liking this. Are you enjoying it? I am, it's In very. Beautiful pop. Oh, it's got a lean on. Not I'm lean gonna on. speed it up. And then I'm going to slow it down. Oh, oh no, it's gone. Oh, 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 stop it. Oh, 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 I'm going to slow it. What the hell is that? It, it's very special looking. <laughs> I'm supposed to stop the wheel. Bit, bit more water, bit more water. Okay, you need to make sure that you're <laughs> Ooh. It looks like an ear. I've made an Ooh. ear on a... What if I do that? Ooh. Oh, look. Look, look, at the, look at the shape at the bottom there. No shape in the bottom. Oh. Oh, you've got to keep it wet. How am I, how, I've got 30 seconds, 30, 30 seconds left. Are the ends falling off? <laughs> Well, I know what that's I, your time up, Lee. I know what I think I've made. I'm not sure you think you know what you've made. <sighs> Apart from the mess. What, what are you calling that creation? Um, chode. Chode. Yeah. It's a bit butt pluggy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Oh, well, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I don't know how I'm going to... I'm going to use an implement to get it off. Okay. And get myself I, off. I, I think it's one of those <laughs> implements itself that'll get you off. Okay. Right. So, that's mine. <laughs> I think it's time that I cleaned up and handed it over to you, Mike. I'm going to do this now. Plenty of water, Mike. It's got to be moist. Oh, no, I know it's got to be moist. Got to get lots of liquid on. Oh. I need more power. It doesn't have the power. That's a Star Trek reference. Oh, OK. It's not the first time you've had your hand on a moist man, though, is it's it? It's not. It's not the first time I've had my hand on a moist man. So we're looking, we're looking for a, we're looking for a, a dish or a bar or a... Just a shape. Ooh. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Yes. I have thrown a pot before you. Have you, done, have you thrown a pot before? Yeah. Oh. It was on a proper wheel. You just seen the cud. Well, this thing sounds like it's a Robin the Lion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, look at that finger. Oh, look at that finger action on that rim. Ooh. Oh, it's mm. going deep. 
Oh, a bit of moisture on this. We'll leave it tasty. You've got to keep your fingers moist. Oh. And then you've got to put it on the sides. Gently pull it up. I'm going to get a little too firm on the sides. Oh, I pinched hard then, it stopped. Oh. Oh, oh, no. oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. <laughs> it's uh, gone horribly wrong for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what will we reveal behind that manly, veiny hand? <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not so little. And you just slowly open your fingers. Oh. And it gets wider. Oh. I think you should slow motion that. Oh. But it's definitely more pot shaped than yours. Oof. Yeah, but is it more enjoyable? Um, it did. It, it, you've got, you've got a minute yourself. left. We've got about a minute left. Yeah. Finalise whatever it is that is. Okay. Oh, 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 we're speeding it up, we're speeding it up. Okay. I've not quite finished, don't worry. Well, <laughs> it looked better before. <laughs> now it looked there, yeah, 30 seconds, we're, we're being told, 30 seconds. Couple seconds, that's all right. Who's going to make the judge cry? Ah. Oh. Oh, it's good. Oh. I'm confused then. Oh, is, is, are we got, is, are we need? I'm 10 not seconds, finished yet. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands away from the clay. Hands away from the clay. I've made an ashtray. Oh, it looked... <laughs> I mean, at the beginning, it looked like the start of Pride, uh -huh. and now it looks like the end of Pride. <laughs> <laughs> With the loose bits that I don't know why they've got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I fear a tear coming to my eye, but it's not... It's not a tear, is it? No. It's not on your face? No, no. Well, Sh shall I return? Please do. Well, that, that was a lovely life lesson. Shall we just have a quick look at what we have created, Mike? Yeah, yeah, I, I've made a, a, a glamorous ashtray fit for Princess Margaret herself. It is, or a moist, gaping anus. Very shallow for a gaping anus. It normally goes a lot further than that. Yeah. Well, you've, you're the expert. I have made a nubbin. Made a butt plug. I have made a butt plug. I'm quite. I mean, that wasn't the attention. No. But you the know, thing was to make some sort of pot. Yeah. Happy accidents. Mine, mine at least will contain liquid. Yeah. Everyone's an art critic. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and that is the end of the show for this week. But like a child desperate for the loo, if you're about to burst, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for the Cud TV on social media, the Cud TV for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. We have just enough time to bring you the weather forecast from our very own Willy Sparkles. It's boiling. Great Betty Swallocks. Well, stay safe and we will see you next time. Bye.